story time with legendary Jerry. New face, why you shaking your head, man? Man, every episode, <laughs> it, it just gets leveled it up, It get man. deeper and deeper, don't it, man? <laughs> The these these uh this week's guests, uh, to say the least, I've been on a long time, from the beginning, new face, the beginning of their career, when, when and they I really am, young blood, yeah, huh? when they was really young, yeah, yeah when they <laughs> when they were young blood, <laughs> <laughs> young uh, so I, as usual, I'm 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 super duper excited, man, because we got we got a lot to we got a lot to talk about, man. We got a lot to roll out, man, because we've been we've been talking about doing this shit for a long yeah, time. Long time. So fucking finally, I got my brothers on here, man, and I want to do. First of all, I'm Jerry Clark, aka the legendary Jerry. This is my brother, New Face. Of course, he's always there. He do. And this week's guest, we have the incomparable Young, Young Buzz, Bloods. Sean Paul, J. Sean Bo. Paul, J. Bo in the <laughs> East building. Side, man. Man. East Side, we I don't know, no, he. The, early, he said, in a little yeah, bit I, south side. Well, yeah, south side. Yeah, well we, yeah. we could go back, you know what I'm saying? Well, my whole family, we from the west side. I moved to the east side, you know what I mean? Right. Uh, um, I, I, we started off on the west side. My whole family from Bankhead and Hightower. You know oh, shit, saying? okay. Yeah. Mama went to Pride High, you know what I'm saying? So okay. we, we old school with that, man. My whole family, I was the only one who moved to the east side of my family. You know what I'm saying? Okay, but yeah. you, y'all, hey, we, hey, and when we say east side, we mean east side Atlanta. Decatur, yeah. all that, yeah. man. Kurt Wood. Kurt, Kurt all Wood and all yeah. that. Yeah. Shout, out, shout out Stepdaddy, man. Yeah, Rest yeah, in for Barber Shop, you know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, all up through that. So like I just said, man, I've been knowing these brothers from the beginning. Uh, I had access to a studio back in the, uh, back in the mid nineties over on the West side. Mm -hmm. And uh, I used to let the whole attic crew Ooh, the come attic. in there and they was fresh. And I was like, who are these dope ass niggas, man? They, all these young niggas, they rough around the edges though. It was all yeah, them, yeah, yeah, pretty yeah. Kim, Polo, Flo, everybody, man, the whole attic crew. And they used to come out there and rip. And Polo told me recently that that was the first time he started producing, yeah. coming to the studio. Yep. Yeah. Coming to the studio. So that's just to let y'all know, that's the history that legendary Jerry got with the young blood, man. And I yeah. saw y'all early, early on. Man. Early. It's been a it's been a journey now. You know, yeah. we've been around for a minute, you know. This, this is a question I always wanted to ask, man, from being in this music business here in Atlanta. I saw organized noise. I saw them grow and develop. And then I saw the attic crew who had just as much, if not more, potential, man. Why didn't the attic crew blow up just as big as organized north. Well, man, my take on it, man, you know what I'm, I'm saying? Um, I'm gonna take mine. We, we really ain't a lot, you know what I'm saying? Not, not, I ain't talking about- Was it like a leadership? No, 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 I wouldn't say that, man. Um, I say all of us, it was a lack of direction, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, we were doing what we loved already. You know what I'm saying? We all had a dream. We we we, we were actually doing what we loved to do. We felt comfortable what we were doing. All the boys, you know what I'm saying? We, we made sure all the boys was employed. You know what I'm saying? We took everybody with us. We didn't know nothing about the business part. Yeah, we did. But we uh we hired everybody, man. We took the whole house with us. You know what I'm saying? It gave everybody jobs and exposure. Everybody worked on the albums. So we we were doing what we love. You know what I'm saying? I. I I will say this, and, and, and I'm gonna always say this, this is me, and I ain't talking about Dunn Family, because I respect all of them, you know what I'm saying? But we ain't like, we ain't, we ain't nothing like a lot of these suckers out here, you feel what I'm saying? <laughs> I just wanna put that out there. But. <laughs> say it to the camera, yeah. Sean Paul. We ain't nothing like a lot of these suckers out there, you feel what I'm saying? We do what we do, we drink a brew and have fun, man. You know I, what I'm saying? I'm gonna tell you like, too, we, we were young. Yeah. You know, a lot of egos. Who just, technically was the leader of the Attic Crew? Like, it was you know, no, it was no. It was Rico or with Dungeon so, Family. Well, so, well, so, well, if you want to put it out there for ahead. somebody a head, head, you know, position, you know, point running point. Yeah, pretty keen. PK. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You had Rico over there with organizing. Right. You know. So do and, and you know and and shout out to Pretty Ken. But do you uh do you think that that's part of Rico? Pretty Ken was you know back then yeah. he was rough around the edges. Yeah. Do you think that might have been one of the reasons why the Attic Crew won embrace because? Like you just said, a lack of leadership. I think with with PK, it was it was a lot of competition with him and Rico. I think. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, so it was it was a lot going on back then, bro. Like even Rico was doing his thing. He had Outkast, Goody. Uh, you know, PK. You know, we were over here, Young Blood. Uh, you Jim think it's safe to say that that, that J, uh, Pretty Ken was like a protege of uh, Rico? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he was. So yeah, I, I, I would I, say yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, and I yeah. think a lot of it, you yeah. know. Pretty Ken, that's my first cousin, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. That, that family, that blood. So, you know, I, I think that he had, had set out to prove to Rico and them that he mm -hmm. could do it himself as well, you right. know what I'm yeah. saying? So, you know, uh, but salute to Pretty K, man. Without yeah. Pretty K, it wouldn't be no Pretty K, you know what I mean? 
So, and, and the energy will add a crew. You know? Yeah, oh yeah, because he definitely brought a different type <laughs> I, 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 will, I will say about and, PK too, though, uh, even with me, the way he used to be on me, you know, he really, you know, loved me like a little bro. Yeah. Because everybody was to be, Sean, Sean, he used to come to me like, hey, bro, get on your raps, get on this. So over time, I got better at my craft. And even he told me, Sean told me, he said, J-Boy, you got a voice, you got to figure it out. Mm -hmm. Over time, so I would say PK, you know, Sean, they 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 really embraced me and showed me who I was as artist, you know. So PK, yeah, again, shout out to him. Y'all was some wild ass young niggas. Yeah, we yeah, 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 yeah. But one yeah. time, I, I butted heads with <laughs> with PK with y'all. I mean, coming up in the studio, man, I was like, hold on now, my nigga, this ain't y'all shit. Now. <laughs> yeah, we just but, tell, but I we love the shit up. Yeah, yeah. yeah y'all niggas was also, you know what I mean? That's hey, why we named our first album Against the Grain, man. Hey, look, y'all definitely was I think, the I think we bought the fur prat work, you know what I'm saying? That's why they moved <laughs> to the new prat work. We done fucked up the whole wall. Yeah. Yeah. Whole People don't realize, this is the new, yeah, yeah. This the new yeah. patchwork studio. The old prat work, man, we used to have fighting, wrestling matches in there, you know what I'm saying? We probably hey, be working, but you know, holes in the wall and shit. I know our budget was fucked up. I think what? that's yeah. my, my introduction to them being, I, I want to say either the bounce or some club, but man, I just remember it. Them boys playing football in the club. <laughs> oh, you remember that? Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm just like, in the club, man. In the club. In the club. club. In the club. football. Going football. I Going said, this football. is the wildest shit I ever seen yeah. in my life. Yeah, yeah. we were looking to tackle somebody, too. Whoever <laughs> caught. Hey, that's Whoever <laughs> caught. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, with y'all being in the same building, you had LaFace Records, who was, of course, they was the, the backbone of Atlanta's music scene. Yeah. They had Organized Noise, Outcast, Goody. And then here y'all come up in the building. Was there any kind of not say friction, but was there any no. kind of like subliminal hate or anything no, going on with y'all being all in the same? I, I, I don't think off top it was, you know what I'm saying? And I, you know what I mean? And I, I and it's just from my perspective, you know what I'm saying? Like off top, it was love. We actually went on tour with them there. The our first yeah. tours, we went on the uh, it get it tour. If you know, if you don't you go, 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 you don't something go, like yeah. that. It's like Coca Cola or something. Mm -hmm. That was our first tour. We went out with uh, Outkast and them Dungeon Family. So it was all dope. They were like brothers to us, man. You and know we what also saying? had the same management. Same Shout management. out to Michael Blue Williams. Oh, family Blue, man. I forgot Blue. Blue. Damn, I forgot yeah, Blue. Blue. Shout out but, Michael but, Blue. But hey, look here. But me personally, man, some got crossed over, man. You know what I'm saying? To me, <laughs> I to was me. gonna say it, yeah. Because like we using all the same managers, and you know what I'm saying. Now you got to think about it. If I'm the manager and I got a successful group that's, you know what I'm saying, that's right, that, that right. I'm, I'm that's attached what, to. And that's what I was about to get to. I don't think I'm going to be able to give you all the work. You know what I'm that's saying? Yeah. Because I'm not sure I'm going to be able to please these folks either. I don't think they're going to be too cool with it if I done made, if, if they done made you this much money. You know what I'm saying? I don't think we had access to everything because I knew we were coming up. They knew we were that's coming best. up. And I don't think we got our, our, our fair share. You know what I'm saying? But uh, having, having uh, bumping heads with the management in the mm -hmm. groups. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I mean? Not saying that a Michael, conflict of interest. Not saying that Michael Blue Williams is like it because I know no, Blue is a stand up blue. dude. I fold Blue. But at the same time, when you got an artist like Outkast, okay, yeah. and, and, and I'm not, like I say, if L.A. Reed came to Blue and said, hey, look, man, these are the budgets. Yeah. Y'all might have got. A smaller, but I'm not oh, saying yeah, that. Yeah, I, 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 but, I, you know, I know how politics go in these bills. There you go. What you call politics? And that's I mean, real. And it, in it, it, it'll bills. never come out. And, and we ain't disappointed about it. Let me th let me tell you about Young Blood. All we had was a dream from day one, right? This has been my dream since I was a little boy. It started out this thing when I was 12 years old out there on the street, you know what I'm saying? Yeeking and all that. Now, we, we actually accomplished our dream. Our dream had came to us. So, we weren't really looking for deals. We weren't. Li we just. Yeah. We understood who we was. We were mm -hmm. enjoying us. We knew we would be there one day, but not knowing how that looked. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But when it did come, we we enjoyed everything. Now we could have had better contracts. You know what I'm saying? But we ain't had no bad contract. And I hate when folk out there. I, let me let me clear the record. When everybody talking about they fucked me and they they fucked me and they gave me a bad. I hate when folks say that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because you, you are sign, you, you signed that motherfucker. Yeah, bro, you bro, signed bro. that shit. What we all need to do is get a little more educated about the business that we're trying to be in. You know what I'm saying? Right. And so, but it helped young bloods. We we ain't had shit, man. We ain't had nothing. You know what I'm saying? We ain't we ain't had nothing but a dream. So every little bit that we had was a plus for us. That's why yeah. we can always smile to this day. Cause we ain't never fell off. We ain't never go down. And we did never man. came up. You and y'all niggas stay with some good energy, man. And I'm, man. I'm I want to say man. something too, you know, for people that don't know, you know, they be like, what happened to the young bloods? One thing we didn't, didn't happen to us, we never got dropped. Never got dropped. We never got dropped from a label. It was just some internal stuff between me and him. Yeah. You know, he wanted to go do it. You know, we just just wanted to do our own thing. So I, I think too, though, you know, that it wasn't even that. 
We went up to, we, we started at LaFace, you know what I'm saying? And then went to So So Dell. Not even that part, we went to Airs up north. Yeah. This when LA had got out of the office yeah. and went and took to New over. York. Mm -hmm. So he had a few groups that he said can come with him or we can leave. Exactly. Like we still living our dream. Ain't no goddamn way we leave home. <laughs> we just get started. Yeah. Yeah. And, look, man, but, he but, didn't, and he didn't want to drop us. But, but at the either. same time, it was an opportunity if we were smarter in mm -hmm. business right. to say, shake this shit and we goddamn can turn all the way up. But who knows? We, we, it could have been goddamn hard turning all the way up. Yeah. So everything that, that came to us, I appreciate, man. And yeah. that's why we're still here today. You know what I'm saying? Now, come on down some more years. We tighten up on our business. That's why we able to move like we move. We able to sleep at home or able to not be all in the limelight right now. Mm -hmm. Because I got my black and white together. You know what I'm saying? Right. Let me, let me, let me, before you say something, Dufay, let me say that. And I ain't never told this story. Okay. And I don't know if he's ever told the story. But Jerry Smoking B, who was the program director at Hot hmm. 1079, shout out to Jerry. Shout, shout out to Jerry. Jerry, man. I'm gonna give him so much props and right respect on, on right the show. Right on, on every on whatever right. however I can. Right on. He deserves the props and respect because at that point in time, when he was the program director at Hot 1079, Atlanta was really, really red hot and whatever he played. Right on. People respect his opinion. So when when he played a record, they got a deal. So I never told this story. L.A. Reid flew down and met with Jerry Smoking B was talking about dropping y'all. Mm. And Jerry Smoking B was like, nah, man, these boys dope. You can't, you, you, you can't, you can't do that. These mm -hmm. boys dope. And he was like, well, this was coming off the first mm -hmm. album. Because right. I think the first album, it, it, it did, did. It did. It did about it, it 250. Did, I think. About three. 300,000. Yeah. Yep, yep. So LA flew down. Mm -hmm. If we it, it, that was the first thing he was saying that he like you said he was going through yeah. the, the transition the, the, the transition mm -hmm. and was going through and he was talking about letting y'all go and Jerry Smoking B went so hard for y'all right man right on for y'all not to you know yeah. what I mean he was like man these guys right here I agree with that and and he asked Smoking B straight up he was like what do you think who who the and Jerry Smoking B told him he's like Lil John is the hottest producer out there yeah. this is on my daddy's soul man he told he was like Lil John. And I don't know how it came about. I was gonna ask, yeah, but I, I just see. remember that story. And this is the first time, story time with Legendary mm, Jerry. Yeah. I'm never telling story. Jerry Smoking B. And that's real. Super hard. So, that's real. That's so, real. Like, so let me tell you something, uh, Jerry. So when like Sean, we went, second album, every album we did, we was on a different label. That's one yeah. thing. LaFace, Arista Jive. Soul, 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 yeah. to Jive Records. Oh yeah, dog. That, that, yeah. That. So when we, when we, uh, transition up to Arista, that's when Jermaine came vice president. It's funny you telling this story because JD had a meeting with LA and he came back and he said, look, I, I, I told LA, I want the guys. I want to work with them. JD came back and said, we ain't got to do no contract. Let's, let me stamp so, so deal, bam, bam, bam. Yeah. We went oh, in there man. with Lil John. We went in there with the track boys who did Tipsy, all them, the, 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 you know, they did all that St. Louis stuff. Yeah. And I think we, we did three records. JD heard damn. Now, mind you, I don't know if he feel the same way. I tell people this. Like, I thought damn was just cool. Shit. See, I knew, I, boy, I knew, I knew I thought damn was just cool. Little, boy, when I first heard that yeah. motherfucker, uh, because said, you know, I worked the record. It was, it, so, so, <laughs> so, so for I me, it, it yeah. was a new sound, new something for us. I was like, it's cool. I just, I always thought it's all bigger than us. Just, just bigger. But when JD heard it, he was like, that's it. And then that's where the, going back to your story, the little John, yeah. the little John, came okay. and we and, and, and let's rewind a little bit too, cause that makes sense too. Cause back in the day, what they did at labels, you know what I'm saying? They get a group, they 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 you know what I'm saying? Shoot the video, you know what I mean? Get a sing together, and they just throw it against the wall and see if it stick. And see if, and it if it stick. Don't you know stick, what I'm saying? They move on. And they move on. You know what I'm saying? So uh, it's way different from how it is today with the music. You know what I'm saying? Now, we when eight five came about, right? We went up to Aris. Oh, we was, a, we was in Aris at this time. That was right? one of my favorite records. And it's so man. crazy to say that because we was in Aris at this time. It's this one guy. He just wanted to meet us. And and they never show his face. He in the room with just numbers. Don't nobody go see him or then. You know yeah, what I'm saying? One of them bean he counters, said, as right, we call them. Right. Bean counters. Bean counters. He said, I want to meet these boys because I never in my 40 some years seen these boys or uh, uh, something happen like this. He said, usually, you know, you like to the, the grab, you know, shoot up when you come out. Then it's supposed to, you know, Go their way, like some steps almost. Mm -hmm. It went up and it came all the way down. That's when they ain't putting nothing else behind it. Yeah. That's death of a group. That lets you know they pulled they, the whole thing. The they pulled yep. everything. That's death yep. of a group. You know what yep. I'm saying? He said he never seen it. When 85 came back out, it shot all the way back up. 
and he yeah. knew he had something special. He said he knew it was something special. He never in 40 years seen a group do that, come back from death. Drop what? and go all the way. You know what I'm saying? Shoot back and up. that was from that first single when we put out You Were. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out when you drop it. Then it went all the way down. It's supposed to go this for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Then it dropped down. Yeah, it's supposed to level out. That motherfucker went up, came all the way down, because they ain't putting nothing behind it after that. You know what I'm saying? But when 85 hit, we were back in Damn, the game. that was my record, man. Back in the game, you know what I'm saying? So he Who knew that right. singing that hook on that? Man, mm, Cuddy, man. Cuddy, man. Cuddy, man. Cuddy, man. Rest in peace, Cuddy, rest we love you, man. Cuddy, but one thing peace. about Young Bloods, man, and, and you know, so, some might, uh, you know, be intimidated by it, but you know, I love all, man, but I just don't play about me and my guys, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't finna do all that old gay ass shit, I ain't finna do all that suck ass shit, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm a grown ass man with cheering the grandkid. You know what I'm saying? If I do yeah, some shit, what they gonna do? He said children and grandkids. He baby. not playing the radio. I ain't, with look him, man. I, ain't, I ain't look for validation of that shit, man. This Sean P. Sean. They yeah. him, they mm -hmm. him, man. They and, him. And new fame, they always been like that. They oh, always, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the thing yeah. is, they, they, it ain't changed. When they were young, they were like that. I said, hey. I said, first thing I said, I said, that nigga. Cocky ass little hey, thing. Man. <laughs> you know what I mean? I had to call my little my little sister was like, I know him from high school. Oh, I said, man, man. shoot out. He would he would hey, look at J Boys, who that cocky th ass little nigga, about man? This. If I won, I, I am what I am or what I am, I'd never be, right? So think if I wasn't what I am, you'll see all these rich niggas still work, huh? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were trying to get rich and chill. Hey. These nigga rich and still gotta work. Boy. Uh, some ain't mm. right. Some boy, some ain't right. Boy, I'm, say, I ain't like? even that rich and I'm chilling. Boy, y'all chill. I got my I'm, 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 I'm so rich. Every time I say, I say, I'm yeah, so yeah. rich with so much more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not not just your family, money. Finances, you know what I'm saying? Finances, yeah. finances is awesome. You know what I'm saying? You know, I I, I I'm family, surviving out here, but family, family man. Healthy. Being able to do what I want to do when I want to do it, you yeah. know. What I'm saying? And you talk about, you know, PK and uh Rico mm -hmm. and, and the inspiration. Did you guys personally look to them as inspiration? Or did you say we just want to break another mold, you know, from the organized? Well, well pretty, pretty Ken. He's always been my inspiration. Mm -hmm. I grew. That's my big cub. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We uh we the closest in age. We got older cousins as well. Mm -hmm. He showed me everything. You know what I'm saying? That was that was my hero growing mm -hmm. up. You know what I'm saying? So pretty Ken. And, you know, guy and his little cousin, that was automatic for me in a so way. What, yeah. But what about musically? What were you listening to prior to that? Or what were you know, growing up listening well, uh, to? Who we used to listen to? Uh, you fucking put, Bone? 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 Oh, yeah. uh, you uh, put uh, me on uh, uh, Mob Deep back then. Oh, Mob Deep. Oh, you wow. fuck Mob Deep. Uh, that first album. Shit, uh, we go back eight to- 8-Ball, uh, MJG, what my boy um, name? Pimp C, yeah. all, all, all the yeah. shit from back in the day, man. You know what I'm saying? The 8-Ball, uh, MJGs, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I grew up on all that. And that's before Outkast in the Dungeon, you know, so, yeah. Man, you know, it hurt me, man, because with me being, of course, knowing y'all personally and being fans of y'all and also being fans of, of Chad, Pimp C, and j Bo, to hear that he had a, he, you know, yeah. that he had a problem with you. Because and, that, and, that's fun. I'm, I'm, and, and that's funny, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah because yeah. And they, they, they fuck because, I, I, and I'm, I know Chad, and I'm like, damn, Chad. Like, I'm going to let him speak on this, too. But I'm I, like, damn, Pimp C, this nigga, what? So uh, but look, let me say let me one thing though. Ahead, 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 speak, ahead, but I want to say one thing before he speak on it. Yeah, yeah. I remember we had a celebrity basketball game. We did two of them with NSYNC before Justin oh, Timberlake. Yeah. 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 And I remember, and I, he didn't play. He was like with the coaches. I played. Yeah. It was we'll night play, against yeah. the days. <laughs> coach. So, so, so I remember we were sitting there. I told Jay Z. And Jay Z walks by. He like man. And he tells Sean like, Paul, hey, he like, you remind me somebody. Remind me of somebody, man. And Sean like who? And he like, you remind me of Pimp C. Oh shit! Wow. It, it really, he didn't really like it. I don't. I mean, no, I, no, it, it was cool. It was cool. I, I, but, I, I understood. I understood. Yeah, but he was. But, yeah, you know, he, uh, but I know my he partner. Him, he, yeah. he, he, Sean P. Yeah, he, he, he's Sean P. He don't want to be compared to nobody. Yeah, yeah, no matter who it is, even though he might sound have this, but. Yeah. I just know him, but I'm gonna let you speak. But on I wasn't influenced by Pimp C. There you go. I, I ain't been influenced by nobody by in music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If anything, I'm influenced by my mama. My mama go hard. You know Rest what I'm saying? Peace, mama yeah. Yeah. My mama, my mama from back in the day, yeah. she used to start a little company just for me to rap and everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's my facts. mama used to have a whole neighborhood in there. All the hardest niggas. I come in the house. I come in the house. That's she facts. got a nigga singing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> singing. Hey, y'all nigga singing in the world. Yeah, but you know, uh, like I say, let me, we'll get to that story. Like Pimp C, man, it's number love though. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Like I, I don't even, I don't even take it no other way, man. You know what I'm saying, man? I'm comfortable with self. You know what I'm saying? But uh, me and Pretty Ken, uh, I was probably like 17. Went to a house one day. I didn't even know he lived in the lawn. He was in Australia yeah, or something. Yeah, sure did. Yeah, he so sure did. We were just finishing up the Young Blood album, and Pretty Ken played it for him. And and Pretty Ken tell you too. He remember he's like, man, little man, your voice coming through them speakers, man. Mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, appreciate that, little. Couple days later. 
I'm guessing he has some spot in the lounge. And we get a call from Moot B. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Shout out Moot B. Shout out Moot B. Shout Shout out Mo B. And he was the only one who stood up in there and one called thing, somebody. Hey, yeah. one thing I remember that. Moot I remember that. Keep it real. And it, and it was a lot of folks in there too now. You know what I'm mean? saying? Yeah. yeah, I mean, we gonna keep it like <laughs> that. He was the only one called though. But you know, so pretty like, man, I said, hell yeah, cuz I'm pulling up too. Cuz like, nah, so I was like, nigga, that's my name. I'm pulling up, yeah. homie. He wasn't there when we pulled up. You know what I'm saying? Yes, he wasn't there. Nah. I didn't get to go. So let's fast forward a little bit. Later on, man, uh, I get a call from, um, well, matter of fact, we won the damn, we won the damn for song of the year, uh, um, BT Award. BT Award, yeah. So we were there. You know, I'm checking temperatures, though. You know me. What's it BT or Source Award? Source Award. We got a Source so, Award, yeah. Jay Prince over there. I ain't never met him, son. So I'm like, let me go check the temperature, man. And see what God, I, I wanted to meet him as well. Cause yeah. you know what I'm saying? You know, I look up to him as well, you know, man, for our business. One of the greatest business. Yeah, you know what I mean? Seen. And he was like, yeah, man, come holler at me, man. You know what I'm saying? At the uh, compound and shit, you know what I'm saying? I don't heard some shit about the compound a lot of folks. But no, I'm man. coming anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still coming though. Yeah. I'm coming yeah, though heard, too. Heard about that compound. I'm coming though, though, you know what I'm saying? But I, I knew it was respect and I, and I knew it was some love somewhere. And, and I said that with Jay Print, man. We talked at five o'clock in the morning, man. Gave me so much game. So fast for uh, months later, I got a call, and it was Pimp C on the phone. Jay Prince had Pimp C on the phone from jail, and he was just apologizing, like, man, you know what I'm saying? I was just all, you know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, I was like, man, it's all, Lord, you feel me? So right after that, when he got out, we was in California, we booked a session together. So we were supposed to work on some music together, me and him. Oh, damn. But look, uh, you, of course, me and my ways, I'm sitting there four days. I don't pay for four days studio. I had them nigga there producing. I ain't do nothing. So let me let me. Yeah, I just sat there and slow. So let me Come let me on, pick. Nigga, I had my favorite, my favorite looking like this. Hey, Jim, we see that ego. No, no, no. So that ego. So he's not lying about this. You know what I'm saying? And that that's the key. This what we're talking about. It's about growth. Yeah, yeah. It's about growth, man. So he wasn't lying about it. I'm gonna tell you something too. So right before Pimp C died, him and Gip used to hang out real close, right? Yeah, yeah. Sean Paul don't go to. Parties and stuff. I do. I go to. So I went to the job party in LA. LA. Yeah, yeah. He don't like all the fake shit. You know, I get it. But I get it. But I get it. But I get it. Oh, three dollar bill. Right. So I'm at this party, right? And um, job party in LA. And Gip there and and Pimp C pulls me to the side. Yeah. And he starts saying, hey, man. And this is years after the situation. Everybody cool now. This round time, him and Pimp C and Nelly did a song. Yeah, we did a song together. So Pimp C tells me, he was like, yeah, man. Hey, look, I ain't here to talk bad about your boy, man. But, hey, man, I love him. And he 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 was producing for you. Yeah, I, I uh, brought him. We, 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 we was in the studio four days yeah. of Kelly, you know what I'm saying? So he was like, man, I'm in there producing for him. He ain't doing nothing. Uh, yeah, but I when mean. Nelly called, he jumps up and go do the song with Nelly. Hey, but guess what? I'm just going to tell you about me. I don't Hold even on. know if I ever yeah. told Sean this, but this is the conversation. That's true, this, though. That's true. This, this is me, a conversation me and Pimp had. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Gip story, sitting over there somewhere, and he was like, you know what, man? We ain't, we, ain't, we ain't here to talk about it, but you know, I wanted to really work with him and blah, blah, blah. And then he went on to say, I was the underdog in UGK. Bond was the guy. Then I was like, Mm, no. no, and then man. he said that because of me. He said you the underdog, and I said, yeah, I kind of felt that way. I always yeah. felt like Sean Paul could rap better than me. Really? Uh, I, 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 all, I, all my Attic Crew partners, pretty floated Twain, and they used to, they used to, but they I just had, me that? and him just had to deal. I just never spoke about it, okay. you know. So I was telling me and Pimp was having this conversation, and then he said, you know what? I love the name, bye bye bye. He said, I already said. He said, take my number. That's me and you work on the project. Months later, he died. Damn. So yeah, the whole story was yeah, like, yeah. Pimp C that was out, true, yeah. But at the same time. You let your ego. As, no, no, as, no. I, no, I, no. I, I, yeah, now, now. Yeah, now, now I'm looking at back you, at right. yeah, look at some it. of the worst decisions yeah. I made in my life yeah. was ego I, I will say that. Ego I will say that. It was, it was it. ego And that's all him and Nelly got in PMC I have shared ego, you know what I'm saying, in my times of growth. You know what I mean? You have to share ego, bro. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I am. But but like I say, at that time, man, fuck some music, man. I I this man that spoke on my name at the time. Just like I'm saying how I'm feeling at the time. And you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm fucking with Cause him. Cause it, it, it got pretty deep, man. Yeah, it, 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 got, it, it, it got deep, it, 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 I'm glad it never turned into no- It almost did. Shit. I know. It almost, it almost did, though. Was about we to had to, this little it show. Was, it UGK almost turned into some street shit. Yeah. We went to go see. But you know, yeah. like I say- Because man, it was some Atlanta. He, it just yeah. got too But like deep, I say, man, I was just, I wish I would have done the music with him. Cause man, it would have been classic, man. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, we got over the bullshit. I wasn't. I was just in my mind like, 
the music just ain't gonna heal it right then. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? It was just it was just new at the time. Just where yeah. he was at in life. Yeah, bro. yeah. Oh, but man. you know what I'm saying, man. Rest in peace to the rest brother, man. Peace, hey, Pimpsy, man. Uh, man. We awesome, miss you. Shout man. Out awesome. He made an awesome mark in the world on his music and everything. Oh, man. You know what I'm saying? A real. You know what I mean? I salute him. You know what I mean? Man, I show the times I be wish he was here to talk <laughs> just yeah, to yeah. hear him speak on. <laughs> hey, but, but, Mo, just to speak on the shit that hey, be going look, on now in this industry. Hey, what's so crazy though, Jay Clark? Uh, uh, for what he said though, uh, with Pimp C. Cause he came back in the studio. Cause I was just sitting there four days. I was just smoking. I ain't go. I ain't even yeah, going to the I ain't even going to the couch. I sat on the couch. I ain't even going to the studio. Hey, bro, Sean Paul, you hell. Hey, look. So he came down. He said, hey. he said, he sat on the couch. Hey, he said, hey man, nail it down there, man. He wants you on the thing. Man, go get that money. I said, yeah, let me go get that money, man. But like, like and he then said, and then when Pimp C said, oh, he need to go get that. But see, I ain't know about no money though. Nah, man, it, it was just the whole point of man. I, it, you just it, in a different space. I'm trying to force it. We were forcing it. Yeah. I don't think we we had time to kick back first and chop it up with each other. We went straight to the studio. You so, know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna say something to you about what people don't understand about me and Sean and any other group of artists. When you do this so long, yeah, you get kind of like I'm burnt. Yeah. Nah, it ain't even about music. Yeah, but you no, no, but what I'm saying though, it's just it's just a lot of that. It's uh, everything that yeah, comes with the that, music. I feel that. I feel you that. You get burnt from it. Mm -hmm. Like we just we we been we, we in our forties, bro. We've been, yeah. man, him been Talk rocking since. Talk about yourself, 22. Yeah, okay, there you go. <laughs> he feel, like, well, I you feel, like, like, <laughs> I know, I feel to himself, but it need, it need feel like it. Yeah, you look, you look, <laughs> yeah, you look like good. it. So look, you know, we've been doing this so long, so it's it's over time, you know, with the pimp seed, even me and him, when we went like this, we just, we like, it's like a marriage, bro. Man, this is, oh, bro. Yeah. Before, yeah. before the music, we were, Kick we shit. still is, bro. Yeah. Miller Grove Middle yeah, School. we rocking yeah. out before the music. Then we get a deal, that's just, Everything just, so with just, that with with, with you, you know, feeling like being the underdog is that where some of the that made y'all that wedge that you was like well at the time I did I don't feel like that no yeah, more yeah no I'm yeah, saying yeah. was that part of the reason y'all kind of no 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 not no me and him I no, never felt no, it no, no, no. it wasn't it wasn't that Sean would always tell me we I mean we were somewhere uh we was at out of town he he it was I smoke I drink was playing he said J Bo that what he told me he said you got a voice you got to figure out how to use it. He was one of the first one, even with the hats, the fedora hats. Yeah. I like, nigga, oh, yeah. I said, oh, he even shit, gave bro. me my name, J Bo. I kick your shit. You know what I'm Sean saying? Paul gave you. Yeah, yeah, because we were drunk one day, and I used to be J Rock or something. Some shit. <laughs> yeah, and then and he's we just drunk, J Bo, and it just came out, and it just stuck with me. Because how many years did y'all technically not fuck with each other? Oh, shit, been it, a lot it of fun. Was, I went to Cali. Shit, it's about six, seven years, yeah. maybe. Yeah, because. Yeah. Yeah, it was crazy because y'all y'all pass up a lot of money from shows and shit from not fucking with each other. Yeah, right? people cut me out yeah. about that. Man, y'all nigga. Yeah. I, I know because I got some calls and, and yeah, then when yeah. I found out, I said, damn, these niggas ain't fucking with each but other. But you know, you know what's so crazy too, man? Like even the money, it sounds crazy mm -hmm. to miss the money, right? Right. But it if the if the fucking goddamn, you know, if everything ain't right, it ain't like day one, you know what I'm saying? Fuck the business, man. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? This shit, when yeah. this business collapse, we brothers. still gotta be brothers. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. You know, and I'd rather sit back sometime and not do no music or not be on the road till we get us together and, and see what it really is. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Fuck this fame. Fuck everybody out there looking in. I don't even do this shit for nobody. Yeah. I do this shit for therapy, man. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of shit I go through in my head. Yeah. A lot of things that I've been through in life. You know what I'm saying? So everybody out there looking, man, I, I love my fans. I love everybody who knows Sean Paul. But mm -hmm. I don't care about nobody who's trying to make Sean Paul something they, that they want to be. You know yeah. what I'm mean? saying? And, and Jerry talks about, you know, politics and, and the industry, things like that. Um, what was the situation with... One of your biggest songs where, and Little John produced it, but he wasn't able to be in the video. Presidential. Yeah, he wasn't able to so, be well, in the video. So, so, <laughs> we, so, uh -oh. so we, well, one of the, it had nothing to do with the young blood. Nah, uh -huh. it was it, called it, George Bush at first. Well, yeah, that, let's let's go to that first. Okay. It was called George Bush. Before president. The label like, hell no. They, hell no. Oh, he was, <laughs> he was the president <laughs> at the time. So we had to come up with some. I All think right. Sean came but, up with no, presidential. But you know what? No, we, we dropped it as presidential. Uh, no, uh, George Bush first. The George Bush. He, Lil John so, leaked it. Nah, 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 so what the fucking label did, they wouldn't have sent out a cease and desist to right? all, to all so, the fucking so DJs let, that were playing it already. So, so let's so talk hold about it. Hold on, J-Bo, let me uh, get in there real quick. Real quick. <laughs> yeah. real quick. So the shit was going. Presidential was going. They went on the goddamn, it, it, right behind damn. They put it right in the middle, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Boy. So goddamn, the fucking label, they sent a cease and desist out of there because they didn't mm -hmm. want to call, be called George Bush. 
for presidential. Then they reissued it to him, and those DJ was like, "Fuck yeah, that!" Yeah, that slowed the momentum. Them DJ that like, "Fuck all that!" that momentum yeah. Away. Yeah. Y'all ain't gonna send a cease and desist to me, and then want me to play it again. Yeah, that was crazy. And then really what it was too. I never knew that. Yeah. So TVT, that the label John oh, and yeah. John was on. Right, right. Brian Leach and them. Remember, they couldn't do the the uh the song. They were Love going through friend. the shit. They they was, through so shit. That's why I said yeah. it had nothing to do with us. So like he said, when John, John leaked it uh -huh. with him on it. And they put their cease and desist out. And they was already and beefing. Love, one with, thing about Lil John, he'll leak a record now. Yeah, he yeah. leaked it. And, and he should. And, yeah. and then some... LaFace and TVT, that that dude over there with TVT was beefing. Brian That's Leach. why they couldn't yep. do the Lovers yeah. and Friends. So when we did, did Presidential, they we had to take John off the record. And then we were like, okay, we well, let's at least get him in the video. He couldn't be in the video or on the record. Yeah, so we went through a whole lot God of bullshit. And so a lot of people don't even know he produced that record. Uh, uh, I mean, it was a, it was, it was a common sense. I mean, it was, it was a no brainer. You know what I'm saying? It was the same fucking formula. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, you keep that Just same formula. Throw that bitch right going. in. You know what I'm saying? Right off a of damn. You couldn't go wrong with it. So let me tell you another thing too. We was up at Jive at this time. You got a bunch of them mm. New York niggas. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and they nigga know what it is with me. And yeah, they, and, All of them. And, 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 the and then one thing about them New York niggas, they go find a way to hate on nigga. And, look, and, the then, and then at the same time, it was all a, 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 a what, what, what the word I'm looking for? A, a conflict of interest, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because you had violator management up there. And they were also the A&Rs. Yeah, you know work. what I'm saying? Yep. So of course you got some niggas from the South coming up. Mill Fence with us he now, you know South, what I'm though. saying? Because yeah. he was on the project. He went up to Jai. He couldn't get shit did. They weren't, they weren't letting nothing in that door. Because they know, already, he's from Memphis, you gotta so think. He, he understands down you South feel shit. Me? You got to understand this. If I already got my team of motherfucker rolling up here, I'm violating the goddamn management, and I'm the A and R here, the A and R. Man, I got the work going on around here. Man, we ain't letting nothing penetrate this. You know what I'm saying? So, luckily though, we were blessed. So Y'all got caught up in yeah, the whole lot. But we were blessed yeah. to, 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 yeah, to, to, to split the contract and just say, man, we just, we, hey, we just ain't gonna, it ain't gonna work out with us here. So we ain't get dropped. You know what I'm saying? Never. We ain't get held or none of that shit. Never. We just said, let's split this contract and just go on about our way. And then after that, where'd y'all go? So now we here, independent man. You know what I'm saying? Still rolling. Still, still rolling. Doing. Now we were blessed. A lot of groups don't have this blessing, and it's a must we take advantage of it. And that's what we've been doing. Uh, once you're on these labels and they made your fan base for you with their machine, you ain't going no goddamn well. You, you know here. what I'm saying? They gonna you goddamn here. table your ass or, or shelf your ass unless yeah. you got that water run dry. Yep. So look, uh, yep. we were lucky to leave with the fucking machine that made uh, well, the, the machine that made our fan base with, for with us no, with, with no strings attached. Mm. So now mm -hmm. we can serve straight to our fan base. Hey, damn, that's a blessing. You know what I'm saying? That's a blessing. Yeah. No con no contractual no, no nothing, shit, man. nothing tied in. And we still got our black and white still it's on called, our publishing. It's called free agents. You know what I'm saying? Hey, One thing about me. constant for y'all to go wherever you, feel? you want. One thing about us, Young Bloods, we own our publishing. All these groups that I don't see out here that just try to have these hits and they don't own their pull. I be like, damn, y'all don't own y'all us? A lot of folk look at us like, like I ain't gonna say no name of these groups, but they were like, shit, y'all y'all still, you got damn right. Y'all don't get y'all residuals? <laughs> you know like, I get my shit. sound exchange, my ass caps. That's why yeah. I, that's yeah. why I, I get I, we get out. That's one thing Young Bloods, and, and shout out to my old man, you know what I'm saying? My old man, he know what I'm saying? He hold that offer down for us, you know what I'm saying? On that black and white. Yeah. And man, and to this day, I, I'm able to feed my family with whether I got them go do a tour or not. You know That's what I'm saying? That's a blessing, man. But you know, of course, you, you want to stack some more on top of it. You know yes, what I'm saying? Indeed. Yeah. And, and it, you said it, you got it, grandkids. Yeah, right? but it gave us time, handling our business, it gave us time to regroup, see what we wanted out of this game. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know, raise these children and these grandkids, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Because when I was young, man, I had, the, I had my first at 16. You know what I'm saying? So I was on the road a lot, you know what I'm saying? But I like, damn, I know my kid. I raised my kid. I grow. I live in the house with him. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I ain't noticed how much I was gone and, and didn't even know my goddamn kid favorite color or, or some shit yeah. like that. You know no, what I'm saying? That means a lot. Yeah, so yeah. now, man. Because I was on the road with y'all for a minute. Y'all niggas, yeah, man. We were going. Yeah, we were crazy. And, 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 they be tripping, man. Hey, wait, <laughs> I, had to stop, I stopped at the box. No, I, I think I went out twice. Yeah, say fuck that. Man, y'all, hey, man. <laughs> I saw, no, no, I'm going to tell you when I. And this is y'all motherfuckers were drinking. Yeah. In the morning, bro. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Drink said, what the man. Drink and pot, man. Hey, yeah. look, you see. Did y'all look? Did y'all ever think like, man, we might need to go get some help? We no, nah. we no. Nah. <laughs> Shit, no. Nah. They say yeah, <laughs> man. They said no, nah. man. Cause we named the album Drinking Pot. But man, come on, so, yeah. no. But y'all niggas were drinking in the morning. Hey man, the sometimes morning, sometimes afternoon. you gotta drink the pain away, man. You know what I'm saying? Well, hey, man, that's why I was like, man, I man, I, I said <laughs> now, nah, I hate. Nigga, no, but I, I asked the label. I said, man, I love it, but. 
I think they might be alcoholic. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. for real. That I told shit. the label that. that real we shit. were alcoholic though. We just we just drank us. Functional. Hey, yeah. hey, <laughs> functional. Hey, we had to drink from kicking their ass. How about See, that? We hey, say man. we say the office a lot of times. Hey man, because I, I swear, man, I was like, man, I said, these niggas drinking in the morning, man. I was Coke forty five. Look, Coke for the Billy, I mean, Billy, Billy hey, look, D. Jabo, Jabo, you remember we uh we went on that first uh tour with Outkey them. We had our whole bus, bus stop with Coke 45. Coke 45. Got them. See no came over there, keep flavor with them. Boy, I drank them 4 5 with them. The 4 5 Cowboy, you feel me? 4 5 Cowboy. Hold on, was this, was this Smoking Grooves tour? No, nah, they were the no. uh, Itty Get It. If okay, you, know, if you, if you don't know, you don't go. Yeah. Oh, wow. I wasn't on that tour. It was Coca Cola. Yeah, it was, yeah, was nope. Coca Cola yep. tour. It was Outcast Headline, I think Good It Us. Yep. Oh, some real 18. Yeah, yeah, this was yeah. like our. First, second album, something yeah, like that. The first album, yeah. So, Code 45 never cut y'all a check? Man. She, Patron no. didn't either. None of them bounced. Oh, God, no. I forget Patron. Yeah, we used to put Patron on the map. About it, but yeah. yeah. But, us, but at the same time, we, though, but we were young too, man. You know what I'm saying? We didn't have all our proper representation in the right place at the time. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And then, and when we did, they ain't even, you know what I'm saying? Like I say, they had that other side that they had to report to. They ain't even, <laughs> like, like with these hit songs that we had, we on the top of the billboard. And ain't knowing our managers when it worked no moves for her. Mm. Yeah, who want to fight now? I want to fight. <laughs> <laughs> <I wanna> fight. <laughs> hey, look, hey, yeah. story time with Legendary Jerry, man. Yeah. This is why we got, because look, mm. Sean Paul, J Bo, Young yeah. Bloods, New Face, story time with Legendary Jerry is why I couldn't wait to have this interview because I knew it was going to be yeah, no man. hoes fucking Bo, bar. Nah, no hoes bar. Story time with the legendary Jerry's hosted by me, the one and only Jerry Clark. Music has been provided by July, the producer. If you haven't already, please, please make sure you subscribe to Story Time with the legendary Jerry on YouTube and wherever you listen to podcasts. And make sure you follow us on all social media platforms at the legendary Jerry podcast. For more podcasts from iHeartMedia, visit the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to your favorite shows.